Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you some more Auratech Academy. And in this specific episode, what I'm going to show you guys is how to upgrade from a 500 joule particle accelerator to a 2500 joule particle accelerator. And of course, click the first link in the description below. That is the playlist to the entire Auratech Academy. Clicking that link, it'll put all of the episodes in order on the right-hand side of your screen, all super neat and tidy. So last episode, we left off on making the 500 joule particle accelerator from Auratech, and we let it automate the 34 Anderic compounds. Perfect. So we're going to do 25 100 joules next. So I've already done the outline for this guy. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the second one out of commission here. So we're going to remove the second particle accelerator that floats in our second particle at one joule. All right, and let's clean this up just a little bit so that we can set up for the next ring. Boop, boop, boop. And then let's close this ring here so that the redstone signal can be measured. And as soon as it goes over the 800, it will trigger this guy to fire forward. So letting you guys get a good look at this. If you need a longer look, go ahead and hit pause. So we are doing really well on the automation process. I sped up some of these guys and we've already finished one of our first endgame challenges. Five million cobblestone so this guy is completely full we're working on another tree farm so we're working on five million logs now but let's go ahead and head up here this is where we're going to be breaking down the particle accelerator setup that is working and setting the particle accelerator under the mountain on the other side so we're going for the second ring here what i'm going to do is i'm going to break all of this apart first and then I can show you guys what all is required. All right, so here we go. For the next ring, we need nine particle accelerator guide rings. We need 12 particle accelerator linear motors, one particle accelerator sensor, a redstone comparator, and 11 pieces of redstone. And over here, I've already mapped it out for you guys. All right, so the bottom is 13. Then it has three in the diagonal and then another 13, then another three in the diagonal, 13, three in the diagonal and 13. That is going to be the next ring that we are gonna be working with. And the placement for this guy so that it is nice and in the center is we're going to be measuring here. So it will eject it from here. It'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll go into the sixth spot right here and it'll fire in this direction. We'll match it right here. So the gap is going to be one, two, three. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then it's gonna go into the turn. This one, we're just gonna go the entire three distance. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three. One, two, three, four, and turn. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and turn. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and there we go. Right there. I like this design because it's nice and flush and uh, we can reuse the same power cables that we're using in the first particle accelerator set up for 800. We can use that in this next one. And of course, we're gonna have to hook up these guys to power. So let's dip down in here, right in front of it. And there we go. And let's do the top, boom, boom, boom. Right over here, boom, and boom, boom, boom. And the last one, bam, 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 bam. All right, so let's grab our setup again. Three trapdoors, hopper, dropper, six of any block. I pick nickel, item pipe, chest, the second particle accelerator, and three of our 
Particle accelerator guide rings. We might need more since the ring is wider. All right, so let's set this guy up real quick. What we're going to do is at the bottom, in the one, two, the third slot, we're going to put the comparator. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is what we'll do to eject the particle at 2,500 into the next ring. But the next ring is going to be next episode. This episode, what we're going to show is how to automate the 2,500 joule collision. So instead of doing this piece right here, we're going to knock this one out. We're going to put it here and we're going to add a repeater so that we can send the signal that direction. All right, so we have three from last time. We're going to put one straight away here and one straight away here. This is where the collision will happen. And then the particle going one joule is only going to be able to go over one block at a time. So that's a little too close. So let's do at least one. Let's do two more to give us some room. All right, we'll do two more. So one and two. It jumps over one block at a time. And here is where it will collide. So let's go ahead and attach the particle accelerator here. This is going to be the same exact setup that we did last time. Hopper goes on top of this guy. We're going to put a block on top of the hopper so that we can do our trap door trick. Boop. 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 Got it. Closed. And because we did that, we can start shaving away above it and have it not drop into the hopper. So this spot is going to be where the dropper is. So we need to do one more and get rid of this guy and dropper. Cool. I'm going to get rid of the hopper real quick because I don't want anything dropping into it. We'll get rid of this. We'll do one, two and one so that we can climb up here. One. 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 All right. Now we can put the hopper back because we don't need to worry about anything dropping in and launching a particle into the setup going backwards. All right, and let's go ahead and tag this guy so that it goes this direction and heads over here to the repeater. I don't think it's going to be able to reach the entire distance, so when this guy triggers, we're going to set another repeater down. And then, of course, we do have to set an output for this guy or else it'll get stuck. Because when it makes this item, it will continue to make items. But since this is slot is full, it won't actually give you the next item. They will not stack. So this is how it's looking so far. Again, if you need to have a closer look, go ahead and hit pause on the video so you can count out all the blocks. I did the Auratech blocks to make it a lot easier for you guys to count. And of course, let's go ahead and do our cabling underneath. Boop, connected. Boop, 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 connected. And over here, we're going to go this way. Bam. And of course, the 2500 Joule automation that we're setting up is going to be for netherite scraps. And that is colliding netherrack with adamant dust. So the adamant dust, we have to pulverize the adamant ingot, which come from the foundry, nickel and diamond. In this mod pack, netherrack, we have to get that manually. Bummer. But really, if you think about it, who has ever had trouble gathering netherrack, right? All right, we got our 64 adamant dust and our 64 netherrack from our trusty fragment forge. Booyah. So let's go. We're going to head over here and we're going to set this guy to do an entire stack. Let's go ahead and drop the netherrack in here. This guy's only going to go off when it goes over the 2500 for us to be able to launch it. So let's do one first adamant and let me show you guys it speeds up to 800 and it's measuring every time it does a circle there's the redstone signal when it reaches 800 it's going to eject the particle boom into the next row which is now gathering speed and now 
this is the strength of the product. And awesome, it does reach. So we don't need a second repeater. I am. It collided and netherite scrap. Wonderful. What does it say? It collided at 3664. So it actually collided a little bit harder than it required. And super important, this guy functions when the linear motors are empty and it needs to gather up the power. So this redstone single, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is 2,500 joules, which will then trigger the particle to drop. If it goes over 2,500 when it collides, it's because these batteries here, the linear motors, still have juice in them. This setup works for when you're running out of power and you can't maintain these guys at maximum at all times. So let's go ahead and end the episode. We got 60 nether rack in here. We need to set up our item pipe again. Boop and boop and exit. 60 nether rack. And now we can set this guy to automate 60 adamant dust. Wonderful. Boom. Next episode, we will go over the 5,000 Joule Oratech Particle Accelerator. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to show your appreciation and consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. Also, click on my dude here to subscribe for more Let's Plays. Ooh.